Bonnie here with a little yoga foot release. We'll call it maybe just a little more of a workshop today. Um, it's so important to release your feet. We stand on them all day. We just throw shoes on. A lot of times not the most supportive shoes or things that really help our feet out, but then we ask our feet to do a lot for us. So I'm gonna take you through a series of releases and some stretches that are great to do to kind of start the day before you're moving or even repeat or do at the end of the day to stretch them out. So I'm gonna be using a little pink ball. You can do all of this with a tennis ball or a racket ball works well. Also, those are gonna be a little softer, more forgiving. Um, but we will go ahead and start. So I'm going to place it underneath my foot here and just begin rolling. So you can go, you want to work on like the inside through the arch of the foot, through the middle of the foot, and then through the side of the foot. And the nice thing is you can press as hard or as lightly as you want, and you really think about kneading the foot. So as I roll through the ball of the foot, I'm pressing firmly to kind of get that arch loosened up a little bit. If you find any spots that are, you know, a little tender and need more attention, you can just hone in on that and press. You can also do just a press put some added pressure release and then press your way through those spots. Now for just kind of time sake of video, I'm going to, you know, move relatively quickly, but it's something that I would recommend pausing. You can spend as much time on this foot as you want and then we'll move to the other side. So next what I'm going to do is place the ball on the widest part of my foot wrap the toes, and then press the heel toward the floor. And then release. So I'm wrapping the toes and then pressing the heel down. And release and move it a little bit more toward the midfoot. Curl the toes, press the heel down. And just work my way kind of through the foot. So wrapping, curling, pressing down and go a little further and even a little further. Sometimes you hit some hot spots in there and then we'll change sides. So there would be your time to hit the pause button and give yourself a little more love on that foot if you want. So just rolling here, press through that foot. know the feet are going to be different. And I know I'm standing up. I forgot to mention this. So if this is a balance issue for you, just take a seat in a chair and you can do it there. I just thought it would be a little easier to see if I was standing up. But don't make this about the balance. If I mean, you can if you want. And work through those spots. Spend extra time if you want, move through the middle. I'm just trying to show a side angle, but you don't have to do that. And then I just hit those pressure points a little bit. So find a spot and press and move it around. Hit those spots a little differently. And then the widest part of the foot, wrap the toes and reach that heel down. And release, move it a little, wrap the toes, press the heel down. And release, and again, just keep curling, inching your way up through the foot. If there's spots that are pretty tender, you know, it gets a little better with practice. It's important to spend the time. Helps, you know, 
know, get our feet ready to move, creates that mobility, helps with circulation. There we go. All right. So from here, I'm going to come down to the floor just on my knees. I'm just going to place the ball to the side. We won't need it anymore here. So tucking the toes under. I'm just going to start with a gentle rock back. Now this can affect the knees as well. So it's okay to move back and forth. You don't have to fully sit to get some pressure off the knees. And what I'm doing is trying to press to get the toes all on the floor. So rocking back and forth. Keeping those big toes pointed forward and just a little rocking. Now I'm going to rock back. So I'm in a little crouch position and think about reaching those heels down. Now they might not come all the way and that's okay. And then I'm going to rock forward. So I come forward into my all fours, rock the weight back, walk the hands in and rock up over those feet into a low squat. The heels don't have to touch and take it forward again. And just move yourself through this. Take your time stretching into the feet. And we'll take one more. And now come forward and lay the feet flat. So we're trying to lengthen the front of the ankle. And from here, sending our hips back. And again, if this is a lot, you can place a foam roller or a little pillow between your heels and your seat. And just sit up here. Just breathe into that stretch. And come on up. Next, I'm going to take my left foot. I'll face you here. And it's flat on the floor. And I'm on the toes, turn sideways here, of my other foot. And it's more of an Achilles stretch. I'm going to try to keep that foot on the floor flat and rock my weight forward with the back heel lifted. And I'm just doing a little rock, just shifting the weight, keeping the heel down of the front foot to feel that deep stretch in the Achilles. And as always, just breathing and moving. And then we'll change sides. So bring it around. The front foot is flat. The back heel is up. And rocking the weight forward. Get my hands out of the way there. So it is a challenge, but I am trying to keep that back or that front heel connected to the floor. That's where that stretch is. It's the back of that leg. Good. Now let's come into our all fours, tucking those toes under, lifting the hips up. So here's our down dog. Now paying attention to our feet here, I'm going to lift up high on my toes and then bend the knees a lot and lift back up and then press the heels toward the ground. Lift up on the toes, bend the knees, stretch up, and rock back. And when I go back, even lifting my toes off the mat. So lift up, bend the knees, stretch up, heels down, toes up. One more time, forward, bend, stretch, and then heels down, toes lift. Then stepping back in 
into a plank, coming forward. Try to spread all the toes, shift the weight, and rock forward to the tiptoes and back into the heels. Rocking forward and rocking back. Of course, getting that full body warmed up and strengthened here, but paying attention to our feet. And now stepping in and coming up to a tall standing position. Coming into a parallel stance, just take a minute and pick all the toes up off the floor and set them all down. And pick them up, fan them out, and that balance, even the little toes, and set them back down. Do this again, pick up the toes, fan them open, and lower. One more time, pick them up, hold. Notice how that works the muscles on the front of the legs, and lower down. Now spreading the toes, hovering the heels off the floor here, and lower. You don't have to lift very high, but feel grounded through all the toes evenly, and lower. And again, press the floor away to rise, lower down. One more time, press down to rise, and lower down. Now take the right toes, or foot, come up to the ball of that foot, and really press into it. So send the knee straight ahead, try to be even across the toes, and set it down. Other foot, lift the heel, press that knee forward, and lower back and forth, taking time to really stretch. So kind of from the side, you know, that I'm really lifting up high and down. One more each way. So you can do it turned out if you want. And then lift and lower. Now if you're on a surface that it does not bother your foot, you're going to come up and roll over. And just hold that stretch a little bit. And you can roll it back and other foot up on the toes, roll it over. And you can even roll, but you don't want to do a lot of pressure, just place the foot and bend the knees to get the top of the foot. And then we'll take it to the other side, play the top of the foot, bend the knee. and rise on up, just wiggle those toes. All right, so great thing to just kind of start or end your day, getting those feet ready to work. Thanks for joining me, I will see you next time.